Don't tell me you've given up already. Come on, it's like strolling park. A little snow never killed anyone. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, a lot of snow, yes, can that can kill you. But surely you are tougher than this weather. The biting frosty air and the thick mounds of powder. That couldn't stop you. Right? <sighs> Look, we are only a few miles away from nearest rest stop. Do you think you can make it? No good, huh? All right, fine. Here, take my arm. I will make sure you do not fall. No, we are not trekking to the nearest rest stop. Judging by the terrain, I would not be surprised if there were a cave nearby. We will just have to try to find one and take shelter until you are ready to travel again. Come on, before you lose a finger to the frost. Perfect. This cave should do nicely. The ventilation is good too, so we can make a fire without worrying about trapped smoke. Here, take my cloak. You sit right there and focus on staying warm. I'll make the fire. There we go. It might take a while for it to build, but it should create some warmth until then. My god, look at you. You're shivering so hard you could cause avalanche. <laughs> <clears throat> here. Come over here. Close to the fire. Do your teeth not hurt from chattering so much? You're going to chew through your own jaw. <sighs> Alright, scoot over. Well, I can't just sit here and watch you freeze, so... Come here. Yes, come on. Since you are practically dying, this is one time I will allow the snuggles. So, better make it count. Come on then. <sighs> there. Surely with the fire and the layers and the cloak and my arms, all of it around you should help with the cold. You should be warm in no time. <sighs> I forget everyone is not built for snow like me. I thrive in it, but... It is not worth putting you in harm's way just because it is easier for me. I need to be more considerate of who I am traveling with. I'm not so used to traveling in packs often. I, I used to be, but I was much younger then. I wasn't a leader, and it wasn't my job to take care of the pack. But now, I need to take leadership role a little more seriously. To be a good leader, you must take care of the people you are leading, so... From now on, I will take your well-being into more careful consideration. How are you feeling now? Any warmer? Mm. Warmer, but still cold. Sorry. You probably would not have made it another second out there. I will make sure to keep you close until you are more comfortable. Maybe, once you're a little bit more toasty, I can make you something warm to eat. We should probably rest here for the night as well. Make sure that you are a hundred percent better and ready for the cold. Your scent. It's more muddled than usual. You smell like the smoke from the fire and pine from the trees we hiked through, but your usual scent of dirt and sweat. It's 
got washed out by the snow. You would have been much harder to track if you were buried under that heavy powder. At first, it kind of irritated me that we had to stop, but now I am imagining how miserable you would have been if you would have even made it to the next rest stop. And now I just feel guilty. <laughs> I dragged you along on this mission, and you accepted without hesitation. Without worry of how difficult the travel would be. Trusting me to take care of you. And now it is up to me to do just that. I will make sure you get through this mountain safely. You have my word. You should get some rest. I don't mind you falling asleep. Just stay warm, okay? <laughs>